Steel mills and other industries have been good for our local economy, but bad for the environment. Hamilton Harbor had a buildup of toxins from over 100 years ago, but the Randall Reef project was designed to clean that up and clean up all of that contaminated water. As Avern McGee tells us, today is the official startup to the final phase of the project. When you drive by, you may not realize how important it is, but Hamilton Harbor is connected to one of the largest freshwater systems in the world, the Great Lakes. But years of contamination from industrial waste dating back to the 1800s turned the bay into an environmental nightmare. Not so long ago, Randall Reef was one of the most contaminated sediment sites on, Canadian, on the Canadian side of the Great Lakes. But over the last 10 years, a multifaceted project has removed and contained all of the toxic sediment. Minister Philomena Tassi joined other officials from the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, along with provincial and local agencies and some local businesses, to announce the start of phase three, the final phase of the $138 million Randall Reef Remediation Project. Seven partners in total, including the federal government, um, all contributing uh, various amounts. I mean, I know Stelco is, pr is providing some steel for this project. This project actually began about 25 years ago. It's hard to believe when you look out over Hamilton Harbour that underneath this container is centuries of sludge. In phase one, a large container was built on top of most of the contaminated area of the harbour. Phase two involved dredging the area outside of the containment facility, vacuuming up sediment and bringing it inside of the holding tank. Phase three involves several things such as extracting contaminated water, treating it and depositing it back into the water. Roger Santiago is head of the remediation unit. We're going to place an environmental cap on over top of the contaminated sediments. This environmental cleanup will also help boost the economy. A $29 million construction contract has been awarded to complete the project. This contract includes an Indigenous participation plan where more than 10% of the work will be subcontracted to an Indigenous business. All told, it could add about $168 million to the local economy. The entire project is expected to be completed in late summer of 2025. Laverne McGee, CHCH News.